You know, in retrospect, this whole thing was probably a bad idea. I mean, look at me. I look haggard. I think... Yeah, I think that's a black eye. But you know, at least I'm not being held hostage. Ah, oh, f***. You just had to ruin everything, didn't you, David? If you had only done what we asked you to do, it was simple. All you had to do... Hey, could you just shoot me? Come on. I'm getting to that. Okay, because we've been here for like an hour. <laughs> what, what are you doing? My elbow hit the uh... I told you not to touch anything. Aww. That was the last one. Sorry, David. And that's how I died. Maybe. I'm not actually sure. Could we go back and let's get rid of that lame washed out indie look? Great. All right, so see this guy? He's Sebastian. He's a big time producer, and he just hired me to do my own show, directed by this man, Jennifer. Jennifer? Jennifer John Bradley. Jennifer? It's Scandinavian. The two of them worked on a show called Swambler, a rollicking story of gambling cowboy swingers roughing it in the Wild West, Swambler style. The writer creator died. I know, ironic. But good news for me, because now I get my own show. So, crewmates. Yeah, yeah, uh, crewmates. It's, it's three ex grooms, and they're living with their yeah, we two XY. We read it. It's no swamblers. But it'll do. For now. Until you die. If. Until if you die. If. And um, you're not gonna die. Do we have a cast? We have a few guys. And a girl. And a swambler. Mm. I'm a serious actor. You know, that's my craft. Oh, I gyrate. Is this like a disgruntled ex-groom? Beauty, class, style, gyrating. My greatest weakness? Sometimes I cut myself. No scales. Scales? If I'm walking, and I step on a scale and see my weight, I, I'm quitting. Some chick dumped me and I'm supposed to be happy? I ain't happy. I want to kill her. I was on course, and I was an extra, but I was in the background for a long time on super sucking five. What is this? <laughs> whoa, 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 that, that's, these two are the same guy. No. Look, this one's got glasses. It's like Superman and Clock Kent. Yeah, no, it's, it's exactly like that. They're the same person. Well, you know, I think I know something about actors. What, are you 16? Anyway, we hired them. Him. It's, again, the same guy. Did you say potato? Potato. You don't actually have to say potato. No, she's potato. I'm still saying potato. Right. Perfect. She's perfect. Amber's our secretary. Executive personal assistant. The perfect executive personal assistant. She's She can be our Jennifer. She can be our me. What? But she's crazy. I'm right in front of you. I stick by what I said. Amber, have you acted before? My breasts aren't fake, if that's what you're asking. Wasn't asking you that. I have. Really? They don't? I mean, unless you were going to Acted. Oh. I was a female swambler. Oh yeah, they <laughs> have every kind of swambler you can imagine. Oh, I gotta see that show. You know, in retrospect, this whole thing was probably a bad idea. For a writer, meeting a cast is like meeting your characters. You have to learn their motivations, their individual talents, their strengths, their weaknesses, who they- Oh god, she's pretty. Where are you going? I have another meeting to go to. Feminist. No. Communist. No. But it's, it's not lesbian related. You're stopping now. Was that Amber Turnipseed? 
I think so. Is that her last name? Yeah. She was in Swamblers. Like, you've seen that? Who hasn't? It's like the best show ever. Okay. She's the reason why I got into acting. Because of Swamblers? Because of her as a Swambler. Hey, were there nude scenes? In? Like you wouldn't imagine. I could try. I can't believe that's Amber Turnip I can't believe I haven't seen that show yet. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. David Penn. Mint. <laughs> um, Mint? Yeah, like, like the candy. Got it. Okay, someone sent me down here to find the, uh, find the boom pole. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, they told me to find a boom pole. I, I don't know what that is. Um, just, just do whatever they told you. Tell okay, you. okay, I will. Thanks. See which hand is faster. Should have guessed that. Who are you? David. We met at the audition. Oh yeah, right. You're the secretary, right? No. Not the secretary. Writer. Oh, you're the writer. Oh great. Hey, look, I was looking at the script and I was thinking, why does my character gotta be such a nice guy? Probably raised by nice parents. Yeah, okay, great. I was thinking we get him a gun. Probably not gonna get him a gun. You think about it. Adds a lot of dimension. Mm. Guns. Oh, hey, Claudio, have, have you seen Humphrey around? Who? Humphrey, have the glasses, shaved, looks a lot what like What do you, you think, we're dating or something? You think we're like attached at the hip? I know where he is all the time? No, not attached at the hip exactly. Well, what are you saying then? You think we're like a number? He's got some business to do, all right? Okay. Great, now everybody's gonna think we're dating. I know they're gonna think you're dating. Oh, they're not gonna think that, huh, Mr. David? Mr. Wordsmith Metaphor Man? You think you can put your cape of words on and just sail around this studio, don't you? David, no, no, no. hey. Chase Cougar, really good to meet you. Um, I really wanna thank you for the opportunity, you hey, know? No I have, usually I'm the postman or the mailman or the handyman or the pizza man. Man, I just haven't had this opportunity since goes to town. How does that go to town? Yeah, you have to rent it. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Mm. I have it on tape. You can no. borrow it. Like, are you sure? It's no, no problem. I'll Netflix it. No. All right. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You were in yeah. goes to town? Yeah. Oh my God, that's great. Let me give you a hug. You're a big man. Oh my God. Wasn't Patrick <laughs> in that? Yeah, and Sarah Mc. Oh, Sarah. It was kind of <clears> nice. <throat> Gather around, people. Hello, everyone. I'm Jennifer. Scandinavian. As you all know, the old Swambler set was destroyed in last month's explode. What are you doing? Damn it! Oh. The sound guy. What's he doing here? We're not even shooting. Why? So we will be using the storage facilities for all of our meetings. Thank you. <clears throat> Sitcoms, a proud American tradition dating back centuries. They are the pinnacle of art. And today, we are the bearers of that torch, the fire that will light the way. We're going to shoot the show in San Francisco. What? what? That's right. San Francisco. It's new, it's fresh, it's different. Uh, and we already have a set there. And we went, even Amber. Not because we trusted Sebastian, but because, well, none of us had any money, so. But you know, what better place to go than San Francisco? Foggy, quirky, interesting San Francisco. It's like, imagine a film noir where everyone in the cast is a peace-loving, transsexual drug addict who loves all people of all genders, even some people with no real definable gender. That's San Francisco. It's really, you just have to see it. It's the most beautiful freak show in the world. <laughs>